David Cameron, many people looking in on Westminster today may think that an old man has been made a scapegoat for the failure of the House of Commons to reform itself and a scapegoat for individual MPs' failings. There is a lot of truth in that because, yes, we're going to have a new speaker. That's a good start. Yes, we're going to have another set of rules, but we're locking the public out of this. It's the public who need to be asked their view. We've got to involve them, and the way to do that is have a general election and ask them who they want to send to a new parliament. That's what needs to happen. But isn't Westminster deceiving itself if it believes that removing the speaker is the vital step? And weren't you and your party quietly happy to see him go? No, look, I think Westminster is deceiving itself. If we think that having a new speaker, that getting some MPs to pay back some money, as I'm doing, putting in place some more rules, as we should have done, as I imposed on my MPs last week, if we think that's enough, we've got another thing coming. The public want an election. They want to choose who's in Parliament. They want a new Parliament setting new rules, going about things in a new way, to give the country a fresh start. That's what we need. New rules, you say. The Prime Minister says the key to this is to end the Gentlemen's Club, to say that regulation in future will not be done by MPs, for MPs, but externally. Are you now in favour of that idea? No, I think we do need to change the regulatory system. I've been arguing for the, all these changes we need to make, but the Prime Minister's locking out the public. He's, he's behaving as if he's just running this Gentlemen's Club. What we need to do is ask people to be involved. That means we've got to have a general election. This Parliament has sat for too long. Its members have lost touch. Its government is completely paralysed. We're in the middle of a terrible recession. We need a fresh start. The way to get that is through a general election. Just finally, forgive me, the principle, though, of moving to external regulation, an idea the Prime Minister himself has pushed, are you now in favour of that? Will you help him to I, develop the detail and to bring yes, it into place? I will help make sure it makes sense. But the most important bit of it is actually the transparency. My shadow cabinet are already putting on the internet their expense claims as they make them. That, the sunlight, the openness, that is the best disinfectant of all. That is better than any regulatory system. That's what all MPs will do as well. And couldn't this all have been avoided if you and other leaders had acted quicker? Yes. I mean, a year ago, I set out the right to know form. All my MPs had to set out what they claimed under all the headings. The House of Commons eventually followed suit on that. Yes, we could have done more if actually uh, the Prime Minister had understood what needed to be done.